guys, so this is a different type of video. You guys, my name is Mark Odyssey, and you know the whole spiel, like sold millions of dollars in, in online. But today, I'm I have Frank here. He'll introduce himself. Frank, so who are you? And then I'll tell him how you. Okay, guys, I'm a regular guy that used to battle with obesity and and you know chronic diseases until the age of 33. That was six years ago, or in 2015, and since then, I realized how it was possible to change that, that situation completely. And since then, I am the guy that you see in front. And I will share, I will share before, pictures of you yeah. before and after. Yeah. And how I met Frank, you guys know, you, if you follow me a long time, if you've seen the, the videos with the pool in the background, I was a lot bigger then. And five years ago, Frank had a restaurant that, that focused on eating well. And that's how we met, and he used to give these, these talks here in Nicaragua. And, the, and that, that's pretty much who I look to for like health and eating well and then we only recently caught back up after five years mm -hmm. so I you'll see you guys would have noticed I've lost a lot of weight um, I think it's very important I am noticing at my age that health affects your men, your physical health affects your mental health and being an entrepreneur you have to be able to be balanced no matter the ups and downs and I have a, I've had a lot of ups and I got lost in the ups, and then that's how I came to this kind of like health thing. Yeah. But yeah, give give us some some of your history, like okay. how much people you. And I'll share the pictures of a lot of his work and link his group and so on. Go ahead. Okay, first of all, I want to to make clear that I'm an architect, and it was at the age of 33, being a, an obese architect that was already like you know like I thought my life was gonna be like that for the rest of my life. You know, I thought I was just gonna be obese and die at the age of 65 or something, because that's more or less what I had seen in Nicaragua happen to the people that were battling against obesity. And at the age of 33, I, I, someone approached me and told me, dude, like you're eating incorrectly, basically. That's what he told me, like you, you're not eating correctly. I thought, how is it possible that I'm not gonna be eating correctly? I'm 33 years old, I'm a grown up man, I'm a, I'm a professional, I went to, to school, university, I, I traveled the world, like, of course I, I know what I'm doing, it's not possible that I'm not eating correctly, you know? <laughs> I, you know, that's, that's what I thought, it was like, impossible, no? right? But then, this guy proved me how he, by doing some simple changes in his, in his eating habits, had lost more than 200 pounds in a year and a half. I was like, like I couldn't believe it. I thought he had gone to some sort of like, like the biggest loser. Uh, <laughs> I thought, no, but it's not possible, you know. He 200 could, pounds. Yeah, 200 pounds in a, in a year and a half. Wow. And I, and I thought he had gotten through surgery or that he had, you know, like, like, yeah, through surgery. But he told me like, no, you know, just changing the way I eat. I thought it was a diet, so I automatically thought that that was not possible for me because I, I never, like I knew that I was always super hungry, yeah. like I knew that I was big, you know, I'm two meters, so two meters tall, so I thought I'm not gonna be able to do this, but he told me like, dude, none of that, none of those things that you think that, that I did are right, because I thought he, he had then counted calories, weighed food, or he had cut carbs, or that he was only eating uh, steamed vegetables, or that he was only eating salad, or that he was eating less, or that he was like, like, I thought all those things that we have been fed through decades, you know? So after I told him all these things, and I was like, dude, I cannot do that. Maybe you could, but I can't. He told me this, dude, what are you talking about? Now you're gonna eat more. I was like, what the? You know, I couldn't believe what he was telling me. I thought it was a joke. But then he proved me and he basically told me, like, all you have to understand, and this is, I'm telling you this now, I'm sharing this with you. I'm gonna share with you what he told me back then. He told me, like, you need to understand that your body needs a certain amount of nutrients on a on a day-to-day -day basis, basically. That's what you need to understand. And those nutrients are the protein for you. For, for, I'm gonna maybe extend a little bit more the explanation because back then he only told me like, boom, 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 boom. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit more, you know, explained. <laughs> like he told me like, you need the protein 
for to create your muscle and tissues you need the vitamins and minerals that are in the vegetables so that you get uh, all your cells to do the functions that need to be done every single day because you're functioning every single day and also the vegetables have the fiber that feeds your guts and, and your, your, your gut health is, is necessary for your health so in those vegetables you get the fiber and the water also that is in the vegetables that you need as well because you're 60% water like you need to get the, the good fats that are gonna help you like all your cells to work correctly to create the, the membrane around the cell uh, in order to absorb vitamins and minerals in order for your brain, your heart and your cholesterol levels to be correctly like working and you also need to include the good carbs like whole carbs that means the fuel that you need to work you know for your body to work properly but in the right ways that means how they come in nature for example whole grains whole cereals or or the or the vegetables that grow below ground like potatoes sweet potato uh yuca like I don't know. yeah but was it hard to grow from just eating anything to eat them that's the thing i didn't I, th I thought that that was gonna be like some sort of diet, but then I understood that all I needed to do was have that on a habitual basis, like that means like your day-to-day your day -day basis, yeah. but that you could always eat those things that you were used to eating before, but now eat them less, like less, less habitually and more like every now and then. That means that it was flexible. It's not something that you need to do like you know like uh, this is a diet for example if i was i was if i was hungry i would eat a coke with a with a pastry right but then i realized that that was not feeding me or nurturing my body at all it was just giving me sugar and it was just giving me all the cravings and it was just giving me high gluco glucose levels in the blood and all those things that were not serving me at all so now when I want to eat one of those things, I eat them after I eat a whole plate with all the nutrients that my body needs, and then I eat a little bit of that, so it's just like, you know, for me to get that, you know, feeling of whatever I need, but it's not that I'm gonna get, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna satiate my hunger with this that doesn't give me any of the requirements that my body has. Why does my body require all those things? Because my body is a vehicle but it's an organic vehicle. So if someone told you like, hey, you know, your, your car needs uh, gas and it also needs changing tires and changing oil and changing filters, are you gonna be like, no, just give me oil. I don't care if it gets <laughs> fucked up. No, right? You're gonna put every now and then, you're gonna put and change those tires, that oil, that filter, because you know that that's how the, the car works. But if you don't know how your body works and you have been feeding it, you know, things that don't serve it, then it's gonna get also fucked up, but then you're gonna end up in the hospital, and then you're gonna be like, oh, what's going on? They're gonna tell you, ah, oh, eat this, this vitamin or this uh, pill or this, and that's not gonna serve anything. It's just gonna put like a patch on the wound, but it's not gonna fix the problem. The problem is that we have not been eating in a nutritious way, because we we forgot that our bodies have evolved through millions of years of evolution with the earth, with the food that was all the time there, you know, like the natural foods that were all the time there with the humans. But we have forgotten that because we were born in this society right now that has been, since the Industrial Revolution, eating fake food. That means they put, they give you, for example, a, a orange juice and it's uh, water, a little bit of orange, and then a lot of sugar. And then you think, oh, this is like, uh, basically like eating an orange. It, it's not like that. An orange would be, you know, it would have the fiber, it would have the, 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 the fructose, it would have vitamins, minerals, and your ancestor would eat it whole, like the whole, you know, the whole orange. But now we're just squeezing it, getting out, you know, the fructose, the water, and then we throw away the vitamins, the minerals, the fiber. We are eating in a way that is not consistent with our bodies. So when you understand that, that's when everything changes because then you understand that you're not gonna get on a diet by eating whole foods, natural foods. You're just gonna eat the way you're supposed to eat because you are human. That's it. Like how many, how many 
animals or species do you know that, that are like getting weak or fat or, 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 or sick? None. Only humans. <laughs> Why? Because we're the only ones eating in a, in a non-natural way, way and eating artificially since the Industrial Revolution. See, that was the key to understand that. You want to understand that, then you know that you can always eat like your ancestors, ancestors did. And all you have to do is when you see like man-made products, you have to go look in the list of ingredients and go check that there are ingredients that you do know. If there are ingredients that you don't even know who the, what the hell they are, they're just artificial ingredients, additives, things that, made, that were made in a, in a lab and that your body does not recognize because it's not in the DNA list, like, okay, like DNA database, you know, it's like, what, what the hell am I supposed to do with this substance or molecule? I don't know, says your body, you know, and it doesn't know what to do and it puts it who knows where to do who, know, who knows what. And then you get all these diseases and then you're wondering what the hell is going on, like, why am I getting sick, you know, what, what, what's this? Uh, but but how, how long did it take for you to go from just eating and eating to being able to eat properly? And then how fast did you lose the weight? Well, it was automatic, like the day I understood this, the day, for example, that day that this guy talked to me, he told me like, when he explained sugar, he told me like, hey, cut down on sugar, like white sugar. And I was like, why, you know, like defending Coca-Cola like crazy, like no, no. And he told me like, dude, Sugar is so much energy packed in like a little bit that your body doesn't know how to burn it or use it efficiently in just a little amount of time. So uh, unless you're gonna go run a marathon, what are you gonna do with all that sugar? In your blood, in your bloodstream, I was like, <gasps> you know, that was like an epiphany. I would see my whole life eating sugar like crazy since, since I was little, like stuffing my body with sugar from all over the place, like sugar here, sugar in beverage, sugar in the products, sugar in <laughs> everywhere. So I was like, oh my God, I was never fat. I was just feeding myself to be fat, but I was not fat, you know, I, did, I was not, I did not, I was not born fat. Right, right. I had just been fed to be fat. Then I realized that that was not my, my nature. So I realized that, oh, that all I needed to do was understand that. And I did change the way I, I ate at that moment. And after six months, I had, uh, gotten rid of of 72 pounds that I wow. had extra and they never came back because I changed my habits I did not start a diet I only realized that I was going back to who I naturally was so I found out what my natural body is it's not that I became thin or that I uh, you know I just went back to my natural self and that's what I teach people, like this is your natural self, it's not the body that you have right now, if it's obese, if it's sick, if it's... And you have been eating from that industry, you know, like that tells you to eat this, eat that, you know, that it's only making profit from you, but it's not giving you health, it's not providing you the nutrients that you need. Then of course you're gonna have a, 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 a body that resembles that, that, that way of eating. You know, and then you're gonna be like, why am I like this? Of course, because you're not eating correctly, you're not eating naturally. And you're abusing sugar, uh, white flour, um, artificial ingredients, artificial colorings, artificial sweeteners, artificial everything. Like, you're not eating the way your body's designed to, to eat. You know? That's, that, that's the key, that's the key. <laughs> once you understand that, once you interiorize that, then you realize that that's, that has been you all the time. The, the, your, 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 the person that is in shape, that is healthy, and that, and that obesity and all that is just like a costume. A costume that was created by the industry since some decades to the present, but that was not like that for our ancestors. So guys, I'm gonna have Frank on the channel like maybe once every couple of weeks, because as you can see, I've lost, I think like 30 pounds or something. Um, and it's not gonna come back and a lot of people online jump up with all the secrets and all that stuff I'll share with you like how I reduce my calories and lose a lot of it quickly But it, even that is not a healthy way to live after you lose weight You still have to continue to see them properly. You, you need a lot But yeah, so guys subscribe to your channel like the video in the comment section Let us know if you have any questions for me or Frank. I know this is a much different video, but in this whole 
modern time where you focus on money and you know entrepreneur and all this good stuff, it, it, it helps a lot to, to be healthy physically and healthy mentally. Besides, if you eat well, then your brain gets uh, it, it, it gets all the nutrients that it needs to, to work properly. So it's gonna give you even more intelligence, it's gonna give you more focus, it's gonna give you uh, better ways for you to tackle any problem that you have. Also, if you're making a lot of money but your health is not in, in, in where it needs to be, then what are you making that money for? Yeah. You know, to pay to pay bills in hospitals in the future? Are you gonna <laughs> like are you gonna be able to enjoy all that money that you're making? Uh, if you cannot move or, or, or do the things you wanna do, are you gonna be the you know you know that's the base, like health is your base and then the rest, you know, you can always work on the rest, but the health is what's gonna give you more years in your life and it's gonna allow you to enjoy all this money or this wealth that you're creating. Otherwise, you know, you're just gonna work to inherit it to the next person. <laughs> you know? So yeah, that's, just think about that, guys. Very you can tell this is, this is Frank's life and this is why being a leader in entrepreneurship, a lot of times you have to look up to certain people and I don't look up to many people, <laughs> to be frank, but, well, to be frank. But I do look up to Frank because he, I, have, I have personally known him, seen hundreds of people that he's helped and we'll share a lot of photos. But yeah, guys, he knows what he's talking about. So if you have any questions for him, we'll have some follow-up videos. We'll talk about the psychology of food. We'll talk about what to eat. We'll talk about cheat. The whole nine. Yeah. So like the video, subscribe to the channel in the comment section. Let us know what questions you have in the description. I'll put a link to Frank's Instagram. I'll put a link to mine. I'll put a link to a couple of things. Have a good one, guys. Peace.